Today's video is about transferring multiple scans from the mobile app into one project so that you can align them or merge them together. I have another video that goes into detail on transferring the files from the mobile app to the PC app. So I'm just going to speed through this. But all I'm doing here is importing the projects. It was four of them because I took four different scans. Then once you import it here, I'm just going to go to the fuse model. You can go to raw and then refuse it. But just for the sake of this video, just speed things up. I'm just going to use the already fuse model. Right here, I'm just positioning it so that I can trim out everything else. I scanned this shoe on a bed. So I want to trim out all of the bed and just leave just the shoe. What you can do is use the lasso tool. So I'm using here and just select the part that you want to keep. Then you can use an inverted select so that you can get rid of everything else. So it's highlighted everything else with the invert select. You can click the delete button here or press the delete key on the keyboard. From here, we're going to export the point cloud. That's all we need. And you're going to do this for each project that you import it in. I normally label it one, two or whatever one it is. And here we just go to the next project. And since it's the same thing, I'm just going to speed through this. Okay, so now we've done all four. We're going to do the open file and we're going to end up importing each one of these. Currently, you can only import one at a time. Hopefully in a future software update, we'd be able to drag and drop multiples. But just import each one in one by one. And then this is what the scans look like. They're partial scans. The color scanning was on by default. I just didn't turn it off. But we're going to start with scan one and we'll merge it to scan two. Just looking around to make sure there's common points. We'll do the future alignment and see how that goes. Okay, and the alignment finished and everything aligned up pretty well. I do believe it's going to be missing some spots in the back simply because I didn't get to scan those. Now we're going to use the alignment from one, two, and we're going to merge that with the scan three. And here you can see we're just simply building the model, filling in all the gaps. I do see there are some areas that I just simply didn't scan. They probably aren't going to be in the model, but it shouldn't be too bad. Now we're going to merge 1, 2, and 3 with 4, or the alignment set to. And this will be the complete model of all four scans merged into one. As you can see, there's a couple of holes here and there, simply parts that I didn't get to scan. But this is just a quick test. Now we'll do some point cloud editing. I always do the overlap detection. Just this gets rid of some of the noise and the isolation to get rid of some of the floaty points. Once that's done, then you have to mesh the model. As far as settings go, once you've done it enough times, then you can just kind of figure out what settings would be best. The higher you go in the settings, the sharper the image gets, but the more noise it picks up. The lower you go in the mesh quality, the softer it comes out.
and right here I'm gonna try to get rid of some of the noise that appears on this side here this is just from the way that it got scanned it was just a little noisy on that side so I go back to the fusing points and I'm going to use the overlap detection to try to delete some more of the points I do hope that one day they can make this process automated to where it would go to the next one. Other than that, you must adjust and click, adjust and click. Okay, and I'm going to remesh the model. And here it goes. It came out a little bit smoother. There's still some issues on that side, but as I said, that was just from scanning. This is just a quick test to show you the process.